Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, hey there, it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. Welcome to your July monthly readings. Hey, July, all right, we're in the middle of the summer guys, it's great. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Um, I, this is, today is what? Today is the 8th of July. So we are still in Cancer season. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your birthdays, uh, your birthday season. And to all the Leos out there, your birthdays are coming up. So I'll say happy birthday to you guys now, but we'll get to that next month, yeah? Um, so I did something a little bit differently this time. I wanted to get into the energies first before I started reading for them. I'm not so keen personally on forecasting, on fortune telling. I tell people all the time I am not a fortune teller, okay? I'm more about um, understanding the current energies and bringing clarity to them to help you you know, make the best decision for yourself moving forward. So that's why I waited a little bit before um, I release I put out the, the July monthlies. Also, if you're seeing some smoke, don't worry about it. <laughs> My apartment's not on fire. <laughs> I'm just burning some sage, yeah? Um, let's see, anything else? These are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I am very much available for that. You can go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, num, 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 num. I think that's it. So what I'm doing with this, the readings this month, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot for the, you know, the general message. And then I'm also getting Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns and the Crystal Mandala deck. And uh, when it comes to the Crystal Mandala deck, I am um, focusing it on, yes, bringing the message forward, but also putting forth the intention that there, whatever crystal comes out, if you feel uh, guided to purchase that crystal so that you can work with it, I highly recommend that you do so. Yes, 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 that's always a fun thing to do. And yeah, I believe that is it for now. So let's get into the reading, yeah? Yay! Hey Aries, welcome to your reading for July. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's just dive right in, yeah? All right, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Aries for this time of the month of July. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aries, let's see what we got for you. I'm seeing red. I'm seeing a red around you guys now. You guys are a fire sign. So that could be why. You, you could be dealing with some foundational things. Um, you could be working on healing your root chakra. You could be working on building something from the ground up. You really could be working on manifesting right now. Um, you know, building a new life for yourself. I'm going to give you one more shuffle. Yeah, and now that I'm mentioning that, yellow is coming through. So this is the solar plexus, this is the willpower, this is illumination, this is knowledge. You could be gaining knowledge, seeking knowledge on how to move yourself forward in some way um, in relation to foundations you're trying to build. Uh-oh. Oops, that fell. Let's, just, let's put that back up there. Boop, boop. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay. Overall energy. Yeah, we've got death. So there's a transformation happening. Absolutely. So this could be why you are working on um, elements that have to do with, say, your root chakra or your material existence. Things are changing around you. You know, there's a transformation happening for you, Aries. Um, and death is upright, too. So I'm feeling like you're going with the flow here. You're not really fighting it. Um, you, you're kind of aware that, you know, some things really need to change. Um, you really need to go in a different direction, maybe. Okay, that's not bad. We've got death with, yep, there it is, guys, the emperor. So yeah, this is taking action. This is taking control of your life. This is 
things coming to an end or you literally putting things to an end because you know it's not fulfilling you. Why do I know that? Because you got the Ten of Cups in reverse, okay? Now, some of you, now also Aries, you're showing up because the Emperor here, this is the Emperor, the Emperor is your card, okay? So you're showing up for your reading, that's excellent. Um, I still feel like there's some trouble when it comes to love or when it comes to emotional fulfillment, ultimate emotional fulfillment. What I'm seeing right now is for you, um, there is, you, you're very, you may be very much aware, Aries, that something is really not fulfilling you. Um, the way you thought it may have, maybe the way it was sold to you, this maybe there was a, a bait and switch situation and now you're taking the lead and stepping up and saying, nah, that shit's not gonna fly in my realm. And so I'm putting an end to it with the death card here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. But also we have judgment in reverse. Um, I'm feeling like this is more of a, someone else's energy. Okay, someone around you. It's not necessarily your energy, Aries. It could be. It absolutely could be. Um, it could be that in the past, you did not take action the way the universe had guided you to. Okay, you, I, I'm really picking up. There are some Aries out there that was hearing a call from the universe um, and y'all got real stupid and stubborn about it. Like, I'm not trying to be condescending or anything, but y'all got real stubborn about it. And shit didn't pop off the way you wanted it to, or the way it could have, okay? Which is why we could have the Ten of Cups in reverse here. And so now something needs to be changed in order for you to get, because honestly, even though the Ten of Cups is reversed here, it's still here. So you still have the potential to reach this Ten of Cups. You just gotta, you just gotta act on the call, all right? So that also could be why death is here. Because now you're finally taking the action towards the calling that you heard here with this with the, with judgment, and this very much has to do with ascension. Um, it could, um, it could just be a call to a new direction for you. It could also be a second chance towards something. Now, the other thing I'm picking up now that I mentioned that with judgment in reverse here, you could be hearing a call towards something, and in the process of putting something to rest because you re recognize that whatever the universe is calling you towards right now is in fact that emotional fulfillment. But you can't reach that emotional fulfillment or you won't be able to reach this 10 of cups, this ultimate emotional fulfillment until you lay something else to rest. And something from your past is really what I'm getting, okay? Cool, let's get into the storyline here. We've got the six of wands in reverse. So uh, this is more of your energy, Aries. Um, I'm also picking up this could be, this could be Leo energy. Um, the, the prideful, egoic, you know, you stayed in some sort of situation out of pride. And actually, I'm hearing out of a lack of self-respect because you didn't necessarily know how to stand up to people that would oppose you. You got caught up in what everyone else would say instead of following your truth and your heart and your inner knowing and moving in the direction that you were being called to with judgment here. Yeah, that's underneath the deck. Six of Wands is coupled with the Ten of Swords in reverse, though. Wow, that's the second time that's fallen. I'm gonna put it back up one more time, but if it falls down again, I'll just leave it down. Anyway, <laughs> um, okay, Six of Wands in reverse and the Ten of Swords in reverse. So what I'm, what I'm kind of getting here is this is the past energy. This is what was keeping you from moving forward in the direction you were being called towards. Um, it's like, you really didn't get it. There were people stabbing you left, right, and center, but <laughs> there it is. You had too much pride to say, screw that, I'm not gonna let this happen again, I'm gonna move forward in a different direction. No, instead you decided to stick it out and be like, nah, I can take it. And in some cases, you may have even thought, nah, they'll change, they'll see the light. Let me just keep rolling up in here doing my thing and eventually some of them will, will, will they'll get it and then boop, everything will be different. Wrong. And so you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Lack of learning the lesson and letting your ego and pride continue to drive you in that certain direction. Okay. Moving forward, we have 
<laughs> the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So now you're, this is, I feel like this is more of your current energy. It was, it is kind of energy from the past, you know what I mean? With, with you not really taking the steps, kind of being stagnant, not really um, making a change that you were being called to make. Um, and this is kind of your current energy too, because now you're starting to get it. You're like, okay, well, cool. I gotta, I, I gotta make a decision, but I don't know how I'm gonna go about it. You could also be sitting in this Knight of Pentacles energy because remember, if you if you know if you know the Tarot, if you've been following the Tarot for a while, um, you know that the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight in the deck. And if you're new to the Tarot, then now you know the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving Knight in the deck. He's very methodical. He knows how to make an excellent blueprint, an excellent plan of things. The problem is he's not so quick with the execution. He often gets stuck in that planning phase. Granted, he doesn't want to move forward and, and you know miss something or, or make a mistake and then have to go back. But at the same time, that's his handicap. His fear of doing something wrong or losing something, misstepping, whatever. And so you're kind of a little bit still in this energy, Aries, because you know you need to move forward with something. And granted, you may not necessarily know how to do it, and you don't necessarily want to just fly by the seat of your pants and just move forward and willy-nilly and then everything sh gets shot to shit. But at the same time, you got to shit or get off the pot at some point, right? Knight of Pentacles in reverse is coupled with Temperance in reverse. The universe is here to help you out. But you're not trusting in that. The universe is trying to help you balance things out for yourself, help you get moving in the direction that you want to be moving in, not the direction everybody else is telling you to move in. But you're not really allowing the universe to step in and do it and do its part. You know, the universe isn't going to do everything for you. You're going to have to take some steps. You're going to have to take some action steps with the Knight of Pentacles, but the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. And that's mainly because you're afraid of the outcome. You're afraid that the universe may not pull through for you, but boo, come on. <laughs> that's what the universe does, guys. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Moving forward, we've got the fool, but here you are. And now the fool is upright. So now you're taking that leap of faith. You are stepping out on your own. You're saying, F this, I'm done playing this game. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> The fool is coupled with, there we go, the nine of pentacles, because you got this. And the nine of pentacles is upright. Aries, you got this. You are self-sufficient. You are independent. And you see how that woman has a hawk right there? That bitch can get whatever the fuck she wants. She ain't playing. You think this is a game? Nah, boo, this is my life. And I'm about to do it the way I want to do it, not the way you tell me. I mean, Aries, you're the king of that. Hello, you're the leader. You are the king of kings. I know that's right. Moving forward, <laughs> we've got the four of pentacles. All right, but you're still holding on to something. What exactly is it that you're holding on to? I'm not so sure it's bad. I'm not. It's not, it's not that crazy heavy energy of miserly energy of being um, scared to really... Uh, this is... It, Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. It's kind of lack mentality, but not really at the same time. Because you're still trying to be practical about things. All right. Let me see. What is this coupled with? This is coupled with the, s ah, ha, ha. the six of cups. So this is what you're holding on to. You're holding on to nostalgia. You're holding on to the past. You're holding on to what was and no longer is at this point. Cause y'all grown. Cause look, this, this, look, you see these two kids here in the Six of Cups? They kids. This is the past. But now these two individuals, what I'm feeling like, whatever these in, these two kids are representing here, y'all grown. Shit's changed. And you can't keep holding on to something that no longer is. And I'm not saying now, now because the Six of Cups, cups ooh, look, 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 excuse me, the Six of Cups could also be a soulmate. Okay, it could be a deep divine partnership. If you identify with the label, it could be a twin flame relationship. We also have temperance here. We also have 
the emperor, which other than representing Aries, it also represents the divine masculine, okay? And you got the Ten of Cups, which is ultimate fulfillment. But you can't continue to hold on to something that does not exist in this state anymore. Okay? Y'all grown. And Aries, you about to man up. Woman up. Whatever. Like, you about to step up and do some other shit that ain't nobody saw you do before. You're on the cusp of that. That's why you, that's why you have this death here. Mm-hmm. But you see, the other thing that I'm getting from the Four of Pentacles is, especially since you have, I mean, your card here, the Emperor, but other than that, the Emperor is like the, is the culmination of all four kings, King of Cups, King of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Wands, right? He's the King of Kings, just like the Empress is the Queen of Queens. So that's why I'm not getting such a bad energy from the Four of Pentacles here, because I'm also feeling some King of Pentacles energy coming through, but in a practical sense. Sorry, that's my, my roommate's out in the kitchen doing some shit. But this is you, this is the King of Pentacles coming through with practicality, not miserly shit. No. Now, with that said, because you've also got this damn Knight of Pentacles here, and the Knight of Pentacles is reversed. So don't come up in here thinking, oh, okay, well, I'm just being practical when all of a sudden now you're just procrastinating. Yeah? Because that's when the miserly energy is going to come forward. That's when the real lack mentality is going to catch hold. And it's going to be even more difficult for you to move through this death period. Okay? Because you're holding on for dear life to something that needs to be let go of. Okay? Moving forward. We've got the Ace of Wands in reverse. But you're still unsure. Okay? I now, this is falling under the Six of Wands and the Ten of Swords, both in reverse. So what I'm picking up here is, in the past, you thought this was a really great opportunity. You thought that this was the spot for you to really shine. But as time went on, you found out, no, need, no heroes needed here. Ace of Wands in reverse is, yeah, is coupled with the Two of Wands in reverse. So you had to make a decision. But I feel like in hindsight, it, I, we'll say it was the wrong decision, but that's only with hindsight. Because ultimately, it, ultimately whether, whether it's upright or not, the Ace of Wands is inspiration, is spiritual inspiration, is passionate inspiration, right? But it looks like now with the Two of Wands here, it looks like in retrospect, in hindsight, that inspiration wasn't necessarily placed in the right spot. But that's okay, because ultimately it led you to this point where now you have a greater understanding of how you want to move forward, what you want to be, this, that, and the third. What is going to give you a greater chance at receiving this Ten of Cups, mainly because you dealt with the contrast. So now, even though, even though this kind of sucks and your ego's a little bruised, with the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse... Ultimately, you have a greater understanding, and so you can move forward with that and build something better. Yes? Moving forward, we've, oh, we've got conflict, though. We've got the Five of Swords. There are going to be some people that are not necessarily happy about this change that you're making, about this transformation you're going through. And Aries, Aries, this could be you. It often is, isn't it? I mean, I'm not trying to throw shade at nobody, but think about it. How many times has your mouth popped off in a place where you didn't really necessarily need it to? Okay. All right. Again, I'm not trying to throw shade. I love you guys. I love you all. But you know I'm going to keep it real. I'm not trying to sugarcoat nothing for you. Because that's going to be a disservice to you. Right? Right. Five of Swords mm, is coupled with the star in reverse. Now, what I'm picking up here is, uh, for some, once you came to the realization of this, like the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Two of Wands in reverse, then you got pissed. <laughs> you got pissed because, because your ego got in the way. 
okay? The star is here. The star has been guiding you. And that's what I was saying. You only made the, uh, the you only came to the realization that you made the wrong decision or you placed your passions and your effort in the wrong place in retrospect, in hindsight. When you made the initial decision, it was the right thing for you to do at the time. But then you came to the realization that shit wasn't going the way you thought it would. And so then you got pissed and your ego got in the way. Your ego started to flare and then you started popping off. Maybe. Or at least internally, mentally, now shit's popping off. And you're beating yourself up about it. But then here comes the star being like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. Chill, chill, yo, 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 chill for a second. You're still going in the right direction even though it doesn't look like it because the star is in reverse, you're still going in the right direction, but now there's a new path to take that is still being guided by the star. And also there's healing coming too. Okay, there's healing when it comes to the situation, however that resonates with you. Because the star represents healing as well, and that's something that I'm picking up, that's an energy I'm picking up from the card. Not only are you still going in the right direction, but healing is coming towards you, okay? It could be healing from, like, this bruised ego <laughs> you're dealing with right now, okay? All right. Um, next, we have the hanged man. But the hanged man is reversed. I know it doesn't look like it, but and I had to look at that for a second, but normally the hanged man looks like this because this Odin, who this is depicted as, hangs himself from a tree. I think it's the tree of life, in order to gain illumination. Now, this came out in reverse because now, because as soon as I saw the card, my attention went to the halo around this man's head, which initially was like, oh wait, yeah, this is this is reverse because his this halo is supposed to be down here, right? So my attention went straight to the halo around this man's head. So that means you're coming out of a, a self-imposed isolation, a hanged man moment, because you've gotten, you reached you got this enlightenment you were looking for or that you needed. You may not necessarily have been looking for it consciously, but you needed it ultimately and your soul, your higher self knew that. And so it led you on this path. It led you into what is considered to be a self-imposed isolation, similar to the hermit, but not exactly. Because here we're looking for enlightenment in the external, whereas the hermit is looking for enlightenment or illumination within, right? With the hanged man, you're trying to see something differently, and you see it now. As you, of course you do, because this is falling right under the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Fool upright, the Nine of Pentacles upright. You got the inspiration you needed. Now it's time to move forward with it. The hanged man in reverse is coupled with the world in reverse. All right, so this is why this is why it's depicted as the hanged man, though, because you're still kind of, even though you've gotten this illumination, you're still kind of hanging here like now, okay, all right, I understand it better. Now what the fuck do I do? Okay, and there's more practicality coming through with the energy of the world here, but I'm also picking up some stagnation and procrastination here. It's time to take this leap of faith, Aries, because you have the independence that you need. You have the abundance of the universe behind you. You have to let this cycle come to an end. Finally, in your storyline, we've got the Ace of Swords. Upright, guys. The aha moment. There goes that light bulb. Boop. You got it. I told you, you got it. Look, you've got the hangs man in reverse. You see all that illumination around that guy's head? He knows. He ain't stupid. <laughs> no, but for real, though, it's like you're not stupid, Aries. <laughs> Hello? You know, Ace of Swords, and it's upright. It's not even like it's not even like you're trying to lie to yourself any, at this point anymore. Ace of Swords is upright, guys, and that's coupled with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So we could be talking about a karmic partner. We could be talking about a wife. Um, this could also just be a feminine energy. That is in your life somehow in the material sense. Maybe if we are talking twin flames here, or at least divine partnerships, divine soulmates, 
um, and you've been connected with this divine soulmate of yours, but you've still been with a karmic partner. Oh yeah, this is totally making sense in that way. Totally making sense. Because this Ace of Swords here is the, illuminate, is, is, is the illumination of the fact that this, whoever is represented by the Queen of Pentacles here is not serving you, is not where you want to be. It could also be a, a mother figure, you know? The truth has been illuminated about this, whoever the Queen of Pentacles is resembling right now. And the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. And with judgment here, this could have been that calling you've been resisting. Six of Wands just carrying on, even though you're constantly getting stabbed in the back with the Ten of Swords. We definitely, we definitely could be talking Twin Flames here. And now this doesn't just have to Twin Flames, and that's why I keep tempering it with Twin Flames or Divine Partnerships, because as I've come to understand it, I personally am on a Twin Flame journey. But as I've come to understand it, Twin Flames are literally just um, front runners when it comes to anchoring in this new paradigm of Divine Partnership rather than 3D Partnership, okay? And... We can talk about that later. This is not really the thing about it or the thing, the, the, the time for that. But that's why I keep tempering these things. So it doesn't have to be twin flames. It could be divine partnerships, divine soulmates, stuff like that. But this is a very deep, deep, deep connection. Six of cups here. But someone is standing in your way. Someone is holding your progress back. And that's this queen of pentacles. It could be your mother. It could be a mother figure, stepmother, grandmother. It could be a wife, a girlfriend. Um, it just could be a, a feminine energy, whether it's a, 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 a physical woman or a physical man that carries more feminine energy. But this energy is holding you back, Aries. It's taking your time, taking your energy, like almost, I'm picking up like a leech soul sucker, a vampire, energetic vampire, physical vampire could be draining you of all of your money, all of your finances, everything you worked so hard to build. Because if that part is resonating with you, if this is, say, a gold digger, man, you have worked hard to build your pentacles. And here they come running through shit. A friend of mine, a friend of mine, a very, very good friend of mine told me about um, how... You know, she was married to somebody and a bunch of money came in and within two months, all of that money was gone. And it was a good amount of money too. Like not even close to chump change. It's like, how the hell you go through that much money in two months? Yup. Say hello to the queen of pentacles in reverse, guys. All right. But in relation to that queen of pentacles, you still have the ace of swords upright. Now, Aries, you have the knowledge the fuck you gonna do that's the question all right let's get into some oracle guidance from the unicorns here yeah best message for aries for the month of july best message for aries for the month of july i'm just gonna give it a second let it fall out there it is okay we've got two guys We've got two. What are they? <laughs> well, I'm going to consider this the Aries card in the Unicorn deck, but this is anger. Yeah. And for some of y'all, this is divine anger. This is like pent up universal stress just coming through. And anger says safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. So I'm not telling you not to feel your anger. I'm not telling you not to express your anger. What I'm telling you is either express it in a constructive way or just channel that into getting through this death and moving forward and, and hearing this call and taking action towards this call. You really don't, you don't necessarily, okay, so you could express your anger in the form of um, uh, physical exercise, uh, uh, physical practices, uh, tai Chi, Qigong, uh, martial arts. Um, you could do dance classes. I mean, anything, anything that resonates with you that is physical in nature that you can use to constructively uh, release your anger, you could do that. But you could also, in relation to that, channel that energy into moving forward. 
allowing your anger to be the catalyst to move you forward in this next direction, yeah? Your anger, your frustration, your fed upness about the whole situation. And here we've got polarity. Integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. And so this is mainly for a lot of you that are have been repressing your anger, which is only making it worse. You cannot have light without dark. You cannot have dark without light. You cannot happy. You cannot have happy without sad. You cannot have joy without anger. Whatever. You know what I mean? Like you need to honor all of yourself, not just the parts of you that you seem ex deem acceptable or society deems acceptable. I'm surprised the hero event didn't come out here because there is a lot of societal pressure around you, Aries. All right, Oracle guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. And um, if this resonates with you, if the crystals that come out resonate with you, I would, whoops, I would, okay, fine, no more shuffling like that. I would encourage you to go ahead and pick them up. You can go to your local metaphysical store, best messages for Aries for the month of July. You could find them online. There are plenty of ways to find crystals and gems and stones to work with, yeah? Best message for Aries for the month of July. There it is, right here. Okay, Archon Barbalo and Picture Jasper, support. Look, Aries, the universe has your back. You are supported. You are abundant. You are guided. You are loved unconditionally by the universe. If you are in a place that is not fulfilling you with the Ten of Cups here, I'm really surprised the Hierophant didn't come out because I'm picking up, I'm picking up family energy. I'm picking up a marriage that is crumbling to the ground for some of you, not for all of you. So that's why I guess it didn't come out. It didn't need to come out because I'm, I'm, I'm saying it right now, but you have the support of the universe to get you through that so that you can move forward to something that'll make you happier. I'm going to get into the book for this. And it's, oh, damn, y'all look, it's a card number nine. Nine is about completions, endings word okay support number nine and the, the, the gem here is picture jasper so maybe you can find that if you feel called to we bring you the gift of support our support is available to you on all levels we offer spiritual support of inspired ideas unconditional love and divine energy we offer psychological support as we assist you in upgrading your belief systems to one that enhance your ability to fulfill your divine destiny. We offer emotional support through spiritual friendship, unconditional acceptance, and unlimited compassion. We offer physical support by providing for your material needs for nourishment, shelter, security, and safety. We are able to support you with peace and with prosperity in subtle and very practical ways. Notice how much easier it is to live your life with courage when you know that no matter what, you shall be provided for and what you need is only ever a prayer away. The universe has your back, Aries. All right? You just gotta man up, woman up. This is you, Aries, the emperor. You are the king of kings. You are the ruler of your realm. Don't tell, let nobody tell you shit about that. Come on, Aries. You know better. All right, y'all. There it is. Much, much love to you. And I look forward to connecting with you guys for the month of August. Yeah? Take care. Bye.